And thank you for staying with us on this Christmas Day edition of the News Desk. My name is Evans Vincent. There's some news just coming in now. Police in Tamale have intercepted weapons uh, in the northern regional town. They have also found a woman dead in Tamale Township. We will speak right now to the uh, regional uh, police PRO, ASP Benita Tete, uh, who's joined us on the telephone line right now. Thank you, uh, Mr. Benita Tete, for your time here on News Deck. So uh, give us a bit more details about this uh, seizure of the weapons. Thank you very much, Evans. And uh, Merry Christmas and a first close New Year's to you all. Merry Christmas um, to you too. Cherish Christmas. We have arrested a total of seven persons in connection with a seizure of two AK-47 assault rifles without marketing. We have two prime suspects and five others in our custody. What happened was that yesterday at the village called Janton Dabuasi near Salaga, these two prime suspects whose names have been given as um, the names are Mama Alifu Mustao and Issa Swale. They went to the village and were spotted with a sack containing these two AK-47. The villagers became suspicious. They questioned them. They initially resisted, so they, they were arrested and taken to the chief's palace. So they searched the sack and found these two AK-47 in the sack. During the course of investigation or interrogation at the chief's palace by the chief and the assemblyman of the area, one Idrisu Ibrahim Wumpini, who is age. 60 years, and a resident of Lamasbu, Tamale, came to the palace and pleaded with the chief and the assemblyman to free the two suspects because he claimed that the two were his boys. So he was also quickly arrested at this point. Tension was mounting at the palace. The police in Tamale were quickly informed, and they timelessly arrived at the village. When they got to the place, they saw five others who had come to the place. They were queried by the police. They could not give any tangible reasons why they had come to the place. They were, they were also arrested. So, as we speak, all these seven are in our custody. We are investigating um, why those arms were found in their possession. But what I can tell you preliminary, what our investigation is, is that. One of the prime suspects claims that the other was going to teach him how to fire those weapons. So that's what I can tell you for now. Mm. Uh, I want to leave the rest for the investigators to conduct a thorough investigation. As, as I can, as I'm speaking to you, we are, you know, following some other leads. So we will speak more on it with diversion sensitive information. So this, so this is what I can tell you briefly. So, so have they been charged yet? We have not gotten to where they will be charged. Yes, we want to do a very thorough investigation, water ties one, so that we can present the water ties case court, uh, uh, possibly on Tuesday to have them remanded. Just to clarify, these two AK-47 rifles that were retrieved did not come with magazines? Not at all. Okay. Which meant that they had no live bullets in them? Not at all. Okay. So three people in all now, um, the, the guy who came back and said, well, I know them, uh, plus the two other people who are, seven other people in all, you're saying? Uh, yeah, we, are, we, have seven, we have seven in our custody. One came there, pleaded for these two persons to be freed, and uh, he was quickly arrested. And uh, even that particular person who came to plead for their you know, release, we are also following some other leads. So, I don't want to divulge any information. Okay. And also, very quickly, we, we also understand that uh, a woman was found dead in the town? Uh, yes, uh, this is a very, very bizarre story. It shows how callous and how wicked some people can be. Uh, there's this woman, Agnes Aj Nanama, who is age 48 years. She's a trader 
uh, at Kumasi. He actually came to the northern region, specifically Wale Wale, on the 7th to collect some goods. He had actually given some money to some people to buy some goods for her. So she came to Tamale to collect the goods. On the arrival, the goods were not ready. So one, Muhammadu Isahaku, 22, who is in our custody now, and one, Alassan Mohammed, 50 years old, who were the agents on realizing that the woman had brought huge sum of money on her, lured this woman into the bush, ostensibly to collect the goods. Mm. The two killed this woman and cut the body into pieces mm. and left the body in the bush. After that, they came to the house to inform their father, one Isifu, who advised them to keep it secret. So the woman, whose relatives, uh, realizing that after two weeks she was not coming back to Kumasi, that Kumasi became alarmed, traced her to Wale Wale. So the two who were spotted in the company of the woman, on reasonable suspicion, were arrested. Uh, they were subjected to interrogation. Initially, they claimed that the woman was sick and was receiving treatment at a certain village. Upon persistent probing, they confessed to killing the woman and cutting the body into pieces. These two persons led the police to the location of the decomposed body, and the body was retrieved. As we speak, these two persons are in custody. We are investigating all the three for murder. Uh, we hope to finish our investigation very quickly and also arrange these two persons uh, in court on various uh, charges, depending on the way the investigation will mm. Thank you very much, uh, Ebenezer Teta is a Northern Region Police PRO. For more news, log on to myjawonline.com. And thank you very much for staying with us uh, here on the news desk, the Christmas Day edition. My name is Evans Mensah. Merry Christmas.